Today on Press TV, Iranian and U.S. diplomats are holding fresh talks on Tehran's nuclear energy program. Iran's Deputy Foreign Minister Said Abbas Arachi and Majid Abanchi are meeting U.S. Under Secretary of State Wendy Sherman in Vienna. The talks are part of efforts to draft the takes of a final deal. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has urged all sides involved in the Ukrainian conflict to abide by a ceasefire agreement reached in Belarus last February. In a telephone conversation with U.S. Secretary of State, Lavrov said the arrival of U.S. forces in Ukraine indicates that Kiev has violated its commitments. At least eight Shia Muslim pilgrims have been killed over a dozen injured in a car bomb attack near the town of Bala, north of the capital Baghdad. The incident occurred as people commemorating the martyrdom anniversary of the 10th Shia Imam, Al-Hadi, were returning from the city of Samara. Saudi airstrikes on Yemen continue for the 29th consecutive day. The latest air attacks targeted the southwestern city of Ibb, some 200 kilometers south of the capital, Sana'a. Saudi fighter jets pounded an educational center and a college in different locations in Ibb. A monitoring group says nearly 3,700 people have been killed and injured in the first phase of Saudi military operations in Yemen. The Yemeni civil coalition that monitors war crimes in the country says about 7,000 homes and 21 mosques were also destroyed during the 27 days of aggression. Iran has slammed the Bahraini court's decision to extend the detention of the opposition leader Sheikh Ali Salman. Iran's foreign ministry spokeswoman Azia Khan said extending Sheikh Salman's detention cannot help resolve Bahrain's problems. She said the continued crackdown will only worsen the situation in Bahrain. Lawyers for the family of the same African-American teenager Michael Brown say they plan to file a lawsuit against the city of Ferguson. The wrongful death lawsuit will be filed on Thursday. The 18-year-old unarmed teenager was fatally shot by a white police officer last year. Anna M. H. Abrams, an esteemed American critic, teacher and author who helped shape the modern literary canon, has died at the age of 102. He's the founding editor of the Northern Anthology of English Literature. Abrams has written several books, including an influential social and political one entitled Natural Supernaturalism. Those are latest here on Press TV.